Leo Singles, welcome to the jungle, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's your singles read for November. Meet the soulmate, I call it. Uh, here, I look at the four aspects uh, of a relationship and use eight cards to uh, get an idea of uh, what your soulmate is like. Uh, and the question is simply, who is the one that's right for you? That's all we're asking Spirit to kind of reveal that to us. But I like this for super singles, completely and totally singles. I think of it as if uh, your soulmate's probably been circling the right ones there for you, but you've been too busy to receive them. Well, now the runway's empty. We're going to let them come down, and we're asking spirits to let us meet this person. So imagine we'll pick them up, take them maybe out for a date, get to know them a little bit. So by the time I'm done, um, we'll have uh, some astrology placements too. I hope, um, and some, you know, personal stories, uh, behavior, psychology, uh, life history, that kind of thing, uh, to go on uh, regarding this person. And I consider this a purely predictive read, so typically I don't think of it as someone that you've already met. Um, if there's anyone that's on your mind, I, I also do the heart spread, um, and should be every Wednesday is Leo and Virgo. But I am running a little behind this week because it's just been nothing but uh, sick for me uh, here in Mexico. Not Mexico's fault, you know, my sinuses' fault, really. Um, so let's see what we have now. Seven of Swords. It's your energy coming in into this relationship. Um, kind of where you're at, though, trying to get a bead um, separate from anyone else, um, a baseline. And you're looking back, and you know. If this is your reading, there's in some way you were betrayed, you know, in the past. I mean, seven sword, cheat, line, steal. I think there's there's no need to get any more complicated than that uh, for you. And I just try to get that as a baseline uh, to see if that resonates with you. If not, do check out Soul Family Read too, which is a daily collective read where we have resonates some more about uh, manifestation spirituality. Here we're looking at that person that's on your mind and in your heart. You have an earth sign over here. Both of you look kind of young. Um, get that feeling with this read. I'm trying to get a read on your person here. Also now as being, uh, how were they as a baseline within themselves? I'm just having a hard time pulling you out of it here. Uh, Leo, I, I feel like the, this girl, she's looking at this coin. I think that's you. So let me get on to where, how you're feeling about them. And you're just pouring it on. So again, this Seven of Swords energy is, a, I, well, you obviously would know. It's just not you lying, cheating, stealing. This is you lying, cheating, stealing, uh, stolen from, you know, uh, in the past. But in regards to this person... I mean, Eight of Wands, it's super positive, a, a powerful sexual energy. Um, it's like, um, for Leo, I mean, it could be Leo energy, you know? It's a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Um, and I, 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 I don't know if it's exactly tarot, this person is really beautiful. Um, and I feel like when you get the Page of Wands, um, you get someone who's very sincere too, Leo. So. If there was any doubt as to their sincerity in general, absolutely they are a very sincere person, completely sincere, um, I'd say. Um, now, let's see how they're reacting towards you. Now, they're probably not reacting the way you want um, to a sword's energy. Frankly, you're scaring the shit out of them, I think. It, I get the, I, this is kind of, I mean, it'd be the case. I get the feeling this is almost like virginal, this person. Um, and you're just coming on like way too strong um, for them the way they're reacting with this two of swords um, let's see how I don't know it's got to feel be a buzz kill for you I mean if, if I'm a Sag I mean if I'm going in with eight of wands and they're reacting with the two of swords sometimes like eh, it's like a train wreck yeah, it's like a relationship trick <laughs> Not good, not good. And you're the train, Leo. Just to be clear, just to keep the analogy clear. Six of Wands, this is your advice of spirit. Holy shit, it's like double down. <laughs> oh my God, full steam ahead. I don't know how to see that. It's not kind of like that. This is your advice from spirit towards this person, this relationship. 
Six of Wands? What the hell is that? That's the go for it. With the kind of athleticism. It, it's not, you know, your typical advice. Uh, it's like more like a sorority uh, advice. Yeah, get, yeah, they're completely not interested, but just keep pouring it on. I, I don't, it shouldn't be like that, but it, what is that? Okay. And this is the advice. Okay, Eight of Cups. All right, I'm going to tell you something. I was wrong about the beginning, <laughs> and I should have known better, but now I got it. Okay. Eight of Cups. This is your advice from Spirit now. So it, they're really not looking at you with this uh, coin. They're looking at their past person, you know. But you're really in it because the reason they're looking at it is because of you. <laughs> yeah. And um, this Two of Swords is a choice for them. And when you come at them so strong, they realize they have nowhere to go. They have to make a choice, um, you know. Um, apparently in their mind again it's a very sincere person probably person probably has a hard time lying um, so they know that they have to make a choice like they can't like go uh, ride the fence or they're not a Scorpio so we know that it's, it's kind of a joke though because I'm not the <laughs> sorry Scorpio <laughs> Scorpio Venus so I feel like I can kid but now this makes perfect sense because the advice from spirits for them to let it go and this means in relation to you and I don't think it means let you go. It means let that emotion go. Walk away. Eight of cups from this person who she's staring at, you know. Because um, if they really were your person, you, which wouldn't be any, there would be no decision. I don't know, really. I know life's complex, probably there are. But by and large, really, it, it, you know, if they're your person, you're really not watching tarot readings or, or worried about it, right? Um, so... Um, Let's see what we get for advice from Spirit here. King of Pentacles. And this is the advice for the relationship as a whole. It needs to be grounded and strong. And it, I, you would not get that advice if the, if the universe doesn't see a relationship here. And so, you know, the reason you're being told to pour it on, it's not because you've got a drunken sorority uh, sister and you know you're taking advantage of them <clears throat> you know it's because you you both know the universe knows there's a relationship here and they're being asked to let go of that emotion with that old person and you're being asked to just press on you know um, and um, I think with the seven of swords the risk for you would be you know just be, being, you know, what's on their phone, you know, the drill, right? Uh, but this energy, the eight of wands and the six of wands, it's none of that. It's a very uh, honest and straightforward um, actions. It's it's not any kind of seven of swords. So, uh, and it's all fire. So, I mean, you're all lit up for them. Um, and your person over here, you know, they're really, I think, going to appreciate the king of pentacles here because um, it's very grounding. I think they need that, something very solid. So keep that in mind um, that, uh, Leo, you need to uh, give this person as much as you can a sense of that there's something solid with you guys, you know? Because um, they may not say that, you know, out loud. But, you know, I get the sense, too, that the Page of Pentacles, a Pentacle, Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, where... It's like in, in some way, and at least in their mind, you know, they gave up everything for you. Could be like something they say, don't you understand, I gave up everything for you. Like, uh, you know, it's a drama, but probably there's, at least for them, for sure, for sure for them, that's how it feels to them. It's like they, they uh, buy everything. I mean, like they had whatever, like security they had, pinnacles, physical, they had to let go of that, you know, not just the love. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is really nice for them if you share this with them or if you have or cross watching it's almost like a promise that there is something solid there which I think you need you know and you would need it too Leo you know you need, you need a fireplace to build that fire in the moon card well I like this for bringing emotions into it finally and this is in the outcome of your heart spread, Leo. The moon. 
very feminine energy. You guys are going to come together and it's going to be um, really for both of you uncertain for a time. In a, and I think like it's going to be extra emotional. Like if you're a Leo, you've got to have cancer energy. Uh, whatever they have, uh, they're uh, going to be more emotional than usual. Um, because you've got to keep in mind too, the moon's coming over the king of pentacles. But I do think it speaks to something in the relationship, in the newness of the relationship. Uh, there's something that you're, neither of you are kind of grasping that needs to be understood. And it's not a bad thing or a good thing. It's something energetically uh, with the moon that's emotional, okay? Now remember, you're coming from, you know, having been betrayed. Um, I don't know, their situation with the Page of Pentacles is really being unfulfilled it could be more complex for them they're you know um, in the, the sense that they lost everything um, so this king of pentacles is like you guys uh, building this uh, tower together building your castle together and um, with the heart spread being a moon uh, outcome um, there's going to be as you move into a relationship huge uh, emphasis upon emotions and opening up and sharing your emotions it's the energy of the moon on the ascendant and sinistry moon on pluto even can be like that just want to open up raw and share all of your deepest stuff and so it's like you may both have a sense that there's stuff unsaid there's also this 12 000 energy and sinistry and composites see venus there that's what this is um and it's not bad necessarily it's just that's going to be an area where uh you'll be exploring you know uh and that's what makes it an emotional relationship right so let me know guys if that's helpful i do appreciate it uh, if you give me a like thumbs up um tell friend tell friend I do check out the uh, soul family read i'll put a link with that as well uh, below Thank you.